So Gethsemane is from Nightwish's second album, Oceanborn, and it's the second track from their second album. I don't think I've ever reacted to it. I'm 99% sure I have never heard this song before. So this is really interesting. This is again from their uh, Decades Tour, live from Buenos, Buenos Aires. Um, so... I'm really interested in listening to this song. I know this is a Taria song. It's from the early days. Again, it's from their second album. But we've got some new additions in the band since then, i.e. Floor and Troy, and I believe even Marco wasn't there for the second album, I believe, right? So let's just check it out. So this is a reaction to the actual song, Gethsemane, which I know because I used to be religious. Gethsemane is where Jesus went to pray for the sins of all mankind. And that's where he bled from every poor in the Garden of Gethsemane. So that might be what the song's about. I don't know. Okay, here we go. So, very interested how they do. Are you having a good time? Yes. Ah, uh, you are. <laughs> ole, ole, ole. Ole, ole. Ole, ole, ole. Thank you! <laughs> You're welcome. Well, needless to say, we feel very, very welcome back here in this beautiful, beautiful country. True. And it is good to be back! We are going to take you on a little trip down memory lane. Oh. And while we dive into our history, we're recording it too for the future! Ooh. So these cameras make sure that this night will last forever now. How fantastic is that? Very. So let's make this a great, great, great special night on this bumpy road. Are you ready for some traveling with us? Yes. Are you ready, Argentina? Oh, yeah. Ryan's ready. I mean... Get Semini. School rock there, bam, 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 bam. Ah. Troy. 
Jawohl! Love that little Troy there. It's awesome. There she goes, head banging floor. Guitar solo. Nice. 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 I hear that again. It's never long enough. It's the only thing. That's what she said. That was fun. That was a great song. I mean, you can definitely hear the early sounds of Nightwish. Like you, you can tell the, the journey they've taken from maybe the Oceanborn album with, you know, uh, Endless Forms, Most Beautiful, different kind of sound. Uh, like every band, every band always sounds. Most bands progress or change or doesn't mean they're getting better or worse. Or it depends on the band. Whatever you want to say. And I like how Nightwish has evolved some of their sound as well. So there's parts of the song that's kind of, let's say, generic-ish. You know, uh, I love the Troy edition of the flute. I love Empu's guitar solo at the end. Floor knocks everything out of the park. Her headbanging was awesome. This is some parts where it's just a little bit, you know, you don't get chills. Like, you listen to a song like The Greatest Show on Earth, you know, you listen to that and it just you get, you get shivers and chills, right? Uh, some of this is just a little bit more that generic symphony rock, metal rock that Nightwish was known for in the early days. So I just love how much they've branched out, how much they've uh, evolved their sound. Uh, a great performance. I, I mean, if I was at this concert listening to this, of course, you're going to have a lot of fun. And it's a rock and song, right? Uh, it just doesn't have a... Uh, it, it's not six minutes of blowing your head off. Um, the Ampu solo was the highlight. Floor headbanging, of course. I mean, the band sounds great. They were having a great time at the show, and I'm having a great time watching it. So, so far, so good. The uh, Decades Live concert has uh, has been a lot of fun to, to watch and review. All right, thanks, everyone. Thanks for, thanks for your... Thanks for watching.